Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I, number one, I'm getting over a cold. Number two, I'm in the baby's room, which is why you see all this. Number three, this video is gonna be short. And I know my bitch ass always says that and it's always like 30 minutes long. But no, I don't have time to make this into a longer video because quite frankly, I have better things to do with my time than sit here and give this individual attention. But a lot of people have been asking me how I feel about this situation and honestly, I honestly was not, even though I asked you guys on Twitter if you guys wanted to see a video from me on this subject, I honestly wasn't going to go through with it until I found out what was said in that now deleted video that the Rewired Soul deleted off this YouTube channel. Alright, so the first time I ever heard about this dude was last summer when Margot and I were exposing the ever-loving fuck out of Cerote for the last time. At that point in time, I had people recommending his video that I'm, I'm pretty sure was that video. I'm, I'm fairly certain I remember it. a lot of people saying, hey, this person made this video, you should go watch it. But um, I never did, not for any like, shady reason. I just was so tired of hearing about everything that I already knew because I was so deeply and personally involved in what was happening when, as far as the investigations and things like that, which are still ongoing from my understanding. So at that point, I was just like, nah, I'm not gonna watch it, sorry. <laughs> like, I just... I'm not trying to be shady ass bitch, I just was tired of the shit. So that was the first time and the last time I heard about him up until recently, a few weeks ago. I didn't start paying attention to this situation until, of all people, <laughs> Keemstar called this dude out for doing the fucked up shit he was doing. And let me tell you something, I have never, in my years of being on YouTube, I have never, ever, ever, ever agreed with anything that Keemstar has ever said. I think he's a fucking tool, a douchebag. I don't like the guy. He is not good for anyone to be watching. But when I saw him directly, directly call Chris out for doing the fucked up shit that he was doing, that was the only time I think I will ever agree with anything Keemstar had said. And once Keemstar called his ass out like that, that's when things started to pop off like really quickly. Even to this day, people are finding more and more shit. And so my biggest issue with him, and I agree with Keemstar on this bullshit, Chris has zero, no reason to be charging anybody $100 for a session that he is not licensed to be offering or teaching. But he was up until the point where he got called out for it. And then he went back to the website and changed it to a free, which that should have been what it should have been the entire time, if I'm being honest. Not only is it dangerous for someone who is not a professional to offer things like that, and then to actually charge people $100 for a basically an opinion from another random Tom, Dick, or Harry off the fucking street talking about mental health. What in the fuck? And not only is it dangerous because you can misdiagnose people and give out misinformation, but it's also so wrong to do that. Ethically, it is fucking wrong to do shit like that. But he had no problem with it because he's making money, right? The other night, he very quickly uploaded and then privated or deleted a video in which he accused Dustin Daly, the viewer's voice, Nick, T by Alley, Petty Page, and I think Ashley Kyle, I don't remember. But he accused all of these people of encouraging hatred to be spewed towards his channel. Not only his channel, but also his family, friends, etc, etc. And that is the reason why I wanted to ultimately make this video, is because I can tell you right now, none of these people are people that I would ever see um, encouraging hatred towards anybody. And I think, especially when it comes to Ashley Kyle, because hers, I think, her video on this situation was the most fair and the most balanced out of everyone and the nicest, the original video, out of everyone's. But what I'm seeing Chris doing now is being pissed off because he's being called out on his bullshit. But when you do clown shit, you're gonna get fucking called out for it. That's the nature of the drama community is exposing people for doing fucked up shit. And what you are doing, Chris, whether you want to believe it or not, and I truly do not believe that you actually think that what you did was wrong. It was fucked up, and that's the reason why you're getting called out. Just because they're calling you out on your shit and saying, hey, 
you, why are you doing this, explain yourself, does not mean they're encouraging hatred towards you. They're just calling you off for doing some fucked up shit that you should not have been doing, and you know you shouldn't have been doing it, because you even admitted to it in your apology videos, which, let's go ahead and just get into that. I understand that you put up multiple videos every single day, I'm assuming that's for money, I get it now. I see the little pattern you have going on your channel, it's alright. We all gonna make our coin somehow, and now that people called you out for charging $100 on your little courses, I can understand where money is gonna be needed to come in from other places now, because that's no longer gonna be an option for you, unless you truly don't give a fuck and you start charging once again. But I'm hoping people are smart enough to not purchase that and actually put that money towards going to see a licensed and accredited professional. In any case, I think it would have been a better idea for Chris to make just one long video, not just individual one to two minute long videos making really weird, awkward, apologetic, but not so apologetic apologies, because they really weren't. In my opinion, I don't really think that you were apologizing. I don't think you're really even sorry because I don't think you understand why people are pissed off at you. And I'm hoping that in the time you're taking off, because you, their last video was just saying, hey, I'm taking a week off social media or whatever. I really truly hope you do some internalizing and realize exactly why people are pissed off. And you come back and you actually make a change for the better, not only for yourself, but for your family and for your channel, because I don't want your channel to be turned off. I don't want you to have any issues. I want no negativity towards you. I barely, I don't even know the fuck you are. I don't know you from Adam, okay? But you know what? What I do know is what I see online and what I saw online was clownery. You are doing some fucked up shit. And now you're being called out on it. And now you're trying to say, oh, they're trying to bully me. No, my dude. No one's trying to bully you. We are just trying to make you understand that what you are doing is fucked up. You have a lot of shit to explain. A lot of shit to explain. And the first thing I want you to explain is why you thought you were allowed to charge people $100 for mental health courses. That is disgusting. As an advocate for mental health, I understand you doing a channel like you had going originally and you giving your own experiences. There's nothing wrong with talking about your own experiences and maybe perhaps you talking about your own experiences will encourage someone else to go talk to somebody else about their experiences. Just seeing someone who has gone through something similar to what you're going through, talking about it, that does wonders in and of itself. You don't need to charge people a hundred dollars for this shit. Do it for free because you truly want to help people, not because of fucking money, which is exactly why you were doing what you were doing. But you know what? At the end of the day, the number one thing I've seen said across social media is that, well, he's apologized. What more do you want? Take accountability for the bullshit you did. I talk to pretty much all of the drama channels that you guys see on Twitter on a regular basis, even on here on YouTube. I talk to all of them. It may not be every single day. It may not be every single week in some cases. I talk to some more than others, but I talk to all of them. And I mean all of them, regardless of past friendships, failed friendships. I love and respect each and every single one of these people because they've all been nothing but kind and inviting to me. They are all such great people to me. Now with that being said, because I talk to these people behind the scenes, I know and I can vouch for every single one of them that who you see on screen is exactly who you get behind the scenes. As you guys know, if you watch a few of them or any of them, um, you know that quite a few of them have dealt with doxing in the past, which is a terrible fucking thing to do to anybody. And so with that being said, I don't see any of them, um, cause he said addressing the threats. That was the title of his non-deleted video, addressing the threats. So he accused these people of causing threats to be thrown towards him and his channel. I have never in my entire time of knowing any of these people, I've never heard anything from any of them that would cause me to be like, oh, they'd be capable of doing something like that. No, not ever. On God, Bible, whatever the fuck you want to put in front of my face and have me swear by, I'm telling you right now, I've never heard any of these people say anything that would even make me think that they'd be capable of doing something like that. And you know you were wrong because you deleted the video and then you also said that you shouldn't have done what you did when you uploaded the video in the first place at 2 a.m. because you didn't have someone there to say, hey, you shouldn't do this. So you know you told a lie. 
You know you made false accusations. You knew you fucked up. Chris, I don't know you, like I said, personally. I don't really care to after what I've seen, to be quite honest. But you know what? At the end of the day, I really hope you take this time that you're taking off social media and you truly do think about what has happened, think about what you have done and what you can do to make things better. I truly hope that the hate that you are getting, if you are getting anything, I hope it stops. But I really hope you also try to understand the difference between bullying and threats and hate and people just holding you accountable for your shitty actions. Because like I said a million times before in the last few minutes, what you were doing was fucked up. What you were doing to these people, these creators, Trisha Paytas, Bobby Burns, etc, etc. For example, the worst I had seen on your channel was actually one that involved one of the Paul brothers. And the title of the video was something on the lines of, this Paul brother, Jake, I think it was, has holes in his brain, which is why he is what I, whatever he is. Hello, that's fucked up. You don't do that. If you are a mental health channel, what the fuck gives you the right or the even... What gives you the idea to even put or even think of a title for a video like that on a channel that you said is supposed to be so positive and uplifting? No, dude. That's fucked. You're fucked. But anyways, Chris, if you truly are sorry, please mean it and show it with actions, not just words. Don't, don't go off on Twitter and do a tangent. Don't do another video. Show it with actions. Do better. Be a better person. That's all I'm going to say for today, guys. I've got to go. My nails need some deliverance. I love you guys so much. Bye.